In this example, we need to factor completely 2x squared plus 7x minus 9. What's the first thing we do in every single factoring problem is look for a greatest common factor. Well, looking at our numbers, I have 2, 7, and 9. Therefore, there's no numerical common factor. The first term has an x squared. The second has an x. The last one has no x's. Therefore, I have no common factor whatsoever in this problem. So I'm going to have to factor this trinomial. And how do we factor trinomials? Remember, we compare it to ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is the coefficient of the x squared. And so what is a? a is 2. b is the coefficient of the x. It's 7. c is the constant term is negative 9. So I'm going to multiply a times c, which is 2 times negative 9, which is negative 18. And I need two numbers that multiply to AC, which is negative 18, and add to B, that is 7. Since the two numbers I'm looking for multiply to a negative, it means they have to have different signs. And if they add to a positive, the number with the largest absolute value has to be the positive number. So hopefully these numbers come to you quickly, but I'm just going to show you the systematic way to do it if you can't think of the numbers. So I have negative 1 and 18 that definitely multiply to negative 18. Negative 1 plus 18 adds up to positive 17, not what I'm looking for. Does 2 go into 18? Yes. So I'm going to have negative 2 times 9 is negative 18 and negative 2 plus 9 what does that add up to positive 7 is that what i'm looking for yes so now remember these are not my factors they're going to help me find them but since a did not equal 1 this is what i'm going to write my middle term down as i'm going to break it into two terms so instead of writing 7x, I'm going to write negative 2x plus 9x. So I'm going to rewrite my first term, 2x squared. But then as I said, instead of 7x, I'm going to write negative 2x plus 9x because those both add up to 7x. Then my last term is minus 9. The reason we do this is now we have four terms. How do you factor four terms? You do it by grouping. You look at the first two. What do the first two have in common? What's the common factor of just the first two? I think it's going to be a 2x, because they both have a 2 in common and just 1x. So I factor a 2x out of 2x squared is going to leave me with x. This gets a bit tricky when you factor a 2x out of a negative 2x. Some students think it all goes away. You have to leave a placeholder, and that's going to be negative 1. Double check, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. In factoring by grouping, you always bring down the middle sign. What do the last two have in common? It's a 9. And what's it going to leave behind? x minus 1. Now, is this binomial the same as this one? Yes. Therefore, factoring by grouping worked. And I pull out my common binomial factor of x minus 1. And what does it leave behind? 2x plus 9 to go in my second parentheses. So now I have factored my trinomial. And don't forget, how can you check every factoring problem? By multiplying it out. So since I have two binomials here, you'd foil this out to check you landed up where you started. 